is absolutely gorgeous this morning. It's in the low 60s. There is no humidity. It's about perfect for August, to be honest. We had one more kitty go to their new home yesterday. So we're down to just two kittens. Hopefully get them some new homes here soon. All right, girlies, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Is it time? Let's go. Hey, come on. Good morning, Daisy Goat. Good morning, Cheeto. Good morning, Dottie. Are you my last two kitties? I'm really surprised nobody's wanted him. He's so cute. Hopefully, we'll find them some good homes. Get to call today and see if we can get this girl an appointment so that she can go on and live her best life. Good morning. Well, today's the day, ladies. We're gonna find out if you're pregnant. Look at these ears. You have the best ears, Padme. You do. What about you, Zelly? More confident about this one. Less confident about this one. It'll probably end up that she's pregnant and she's not. Tink is doing better. We'll be able to worm her again on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. She's doing a lot better. Poop is definitely improved. Good morning, thing one and thing two. It's a too good baby. Jeremy. A lot of you guys are always asking what he does on the farm. He did all this dirt work over the weekend and I'm glad that he did it and I didn't have to. And we have had to put up a gate here because my dog instantly came in here and dug it all out. Because that's what Pyrenees do and they have shovels for feet if you didn't know. So if they're pregnant, we will start separating them to eat in the mornings. And so I will make sure that they're both getting enough to eat. And what may happen is Padme may end up with the babies and we'll make sure Zelda gets her own breakfast so that we know that they're getting all the stuff that they need. They're getting plenty to eat right now, but as they get further along in their pregnancy, they'll need more and more. And it's really hard to do that when they're having to share with a group of goats. So these guys are finally getting to where they're leaving mom, you know, not staying within eyesight of mom. He has gotten more and more adventurous, but still super sweet. Doesn't run away from you. Good morning, Scrub the Cat. I haven't seen you in a while. Quiz. Come on, quiz. Daisy's screaming her head off. I have no reason, no idea why. I finally got my bean shirt in, guys. If you haven't seen our t-shirts, check out our Teespring link. I'm really excited um, about this one because this was like a lot of people's favorite. Pork chop is my favorite, but I definitely now seeing this, like the colors, definitely like this one too. Why were you yelling? Were you yelling? Say, um, maybe. Just a little bit, Mom. Okay, let's get you guys. Poppy, do you think you need to go in there? I don't think so. Here we go. Guys, there's nothing left over. Padme was in there. All right, we found a mommy. Here you go, buddy. Here she is. I think tomorrow 
we're Wednesday. I'm gonna put Pork Chop and Toonie back together. They've been separated a little over two weeks now and I wanted to be cautious and not miss her next heat cycle if she was in heat right before I moved him. He's kind of settled down and been happier to be over here. Good morning, fellas. Pork Chop, look at that slobber. Look at this slobber. Buddies are definitely redding up for breeding season. We've had several girls in heat this week and screaming at the fence and being noisy and that tends to rile them up a little bit. So they've been fighting a lot more. Good morning, Moose. Good morning. I think old cheestagram's a little confused. Everybody's figuring it out. It's gonna be fun to incorporate pork chop into this mix and see how that goes. Is it milk time for the big pig? You have to get out of your bowl. So because I wormed everybody, I can't use my milk for about two weeks. So piggies are gonna get lots and lots of milk. They don't get all the milk during the week. I know you guys always see them get milk, but I usually take a gallon or so in for us a week to make yogurt with or ice cream or whatever we want. Your, your butt always gets in the way. I know, it goes in the bowl. It goes in the boat. Oh, it goes in the boat. Oh, it goes in the boat. Oh, you can't. There you go. I hit the jar. And like this is the first year they've ever had access to this little spot. It's their favorite spot. They're here every morning. They just all hang out. And they love being in the chicken coop, which I think is really funny. Cheeto, are you being a wild man? Yes, a little bit. Hi, buddy. Are you ready for breakfast? Hmm? I'm coming to bring you and your sister and mom a breakfast. Um, I'm kind of partial to this one. Maybe because he looks like Hank. All right. Let's go feed everybody. All right, good morning, Shadow. Is Dottie in here? No, Dottie's playing with the goats. Let's get your food. Came outside to get ready to load the girls up and gonna have to lock him in here. He really loves to ride in the car. I'm gonna take two of the hangover feeders and I'm gonna fill them up really full with grain and pellets. They have basically a cattle system. My thought is that if I have them both on leads and I have the grain, I can set that up in their their kind of working area and tie the girls to the brow with their leashes and have a bucket of food so that they can just stand and eat while he does the ultrasound i don't think they're going to be as well behaved as petunia because goats are they're just not okay so this is my dog kennel that i used to transport them and it will fit both so I'm gonna go get them one at a time. I'm trying to get Padme first because I think that will be easier. So we'll see how it goes.
you can see, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Everybody's in there. Yeah, <laughs> tip it over. Okay, gotta go. What do you guys think? One of them is pregnant and one of them is not. Who do you think it is? Okay. Yeah, come on, there's your mama. So I guess this is their reward for being so good. They both did awesome. Are you fighting? Are you fighting? You shouldn't be doing that. Not in your condition. So it's Zelda. Zelda is pregnant. Padme is not. Padme. We don't think. They were not able to see any babies on the ultrasound for Padme. The so second thing, guess how many babies were they able to see for Zelda? Hopefully you guys are, were able to see the picture of the ultrasound. I had to use my phone and it was an all hands on deck kind of situation. We've never done this before. We've never had our goats ultrasounded guys, ever. Any animal. We've had cows brag checked, but they, they don't do that with an ultrasound. It was fun. They had a blast ultrasounding these two goats and we may do that again because it was just a lot of fun and they had fun and they enjoyed it and I love that. She, they think, has triplets. Three babies, guys. Due first week in November, and it was really easy to see her babies. And that's why they're fairly confident Padme is not pregnant because it was so easy to see the sacks, and we got to see the babies move. I am so stoked that we at least have one pregnant animal on the farm for this winter for you guys. So you guys excited? Three goat babies. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can see Zelda give birth and have babies and all of that for you guys. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. It's gonna be 50, like eight degrees tonight, overnight, and I am so excited. Fall is absolutely my favorite time of year. I love the weather, I love the smells putting a fire in the fireplace for the first time. All those things, love them. Make sure you turn it, tune in, not turn in, tune in to Monday's video. It's the piggy couples getting back together, but I'm kind of excited to see how they act after not having seen each other for two weeks. This has become our, our routine where we have three of them. Sometimes Chief is here, sometimes Gobbles is here. You just never know, come on Gobbles. Being you're gonna be a dad again for like the like 20th time, but I'm sure it's, all of them are special. One night, pig pig. Are you gonna get to go back with your girlfriend tomorrow? Say yes, mom. Say I don't care. 
He's gotten all the cucumbers over here. All right, night night, big pig. Night night, stinky man. Say night night, Tootie Pig. Come here, Tootie Pig. -o. Come here, Waffles. You doing Waffles? Winks over here. Good night, Toonie. Your boyfriend comes back tomorrow. Yeah, your boyfriend comes back tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, good pick. Hey, night night. All right. Dinner time for my regrets. Dinner time for my regrets. Go girl. We got triplets cooking in there. Hmm? Are you cooking some babies? My pregnant girl. Right. So tomorrow she got a ton extra to eat today when we were getting the ultrasound. We'll start feeding you. Feeding you pregnant lady food. Mom has to go get some. We're out of pellets. So we'll start her on morning and evening feeding with pellets. Just making sure she's getting enough nutrition, especially with triplets. Making sure she's getting a lot to eat. A little bit disappointed that this one is not pregnant, but we'll get another go at it. All right, kitties. Let's get you some kitty food. They're my only two left. I hope you guys enjoyed finding out that Zelda was pregnant with triplets today. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you'll see when she has those babies. End of October, 1st of November. We're really excited to have goat babies in November for the first time and the fall for the first time. Thanks you guys so much for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell so you know every time we put out a new video. We love you guys and we'll see you in the next video.